All right, guys, this is gonna be a play off of the last tutorial I just did for you, the brushed out curl. Now I wanna show you, if you use just one size smaller curling iron, this is a one inch curling iron, uh, using that similar technique, plus a couple extra tips I'm gonna show you, you can get those really pretty vintage waves, which would be great for holidays if we have any events this year, but here's hoping. Okay, so I washed my hair yesterday. I did dry shampoo at my root and I actually added in some Unite Boosta just cause I wanted a little extra hold. Um, for this look, I prefer a side part. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's totally up to you. If you really wanna go glam, try like a deeper side part. That could look pretty awesome. Um, but that's pretty much what you wanna do. Um, you're gonna wanna section your hair. I'm gonna start in the back and then I'll slow down when I get to the side to go over how I'm gonna curl that to create that S pattern like I talked about in my last tutorial. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go over the S pattern again with you guys. Uh, with the curling iron. So I'm gonna um, take sections. And again, the S pattern, it's um, that wave you get when you alternate the directions of the curling iron. So this piece I'm gonna do going towards my face. Now, in some of my tutorials, you've seen me drag the curling iron to kind of give it that straighter edge. Uh, we don't want to do that here because we're going for that vintage curl look. So you're going to curl all the way through, kind of like Shirley Temple, but it won't look like that when we're done. So this one, I'm going to go away from my face. And again, I'm using a one inch curling iron. Um, the smaller iron is going to give you that more curled glam look. And then when we brush it out, you're gonna get those pretty vintage waves. So there we go. Okay, so we talked about this in the last tutorial. This one's going towards, so this next section is going to go away and then towards. So I'm just gonna alternate the direction so then that way I get that really pretty S pattern. And then this one will go towards, and I'm just gonna keep going from there. All right, guys, so I am all curled. Curled my entire hair, alternating directions with a one inch iron. Now I'm gonna use the Unite Session Max. This is their strongest hairspray. It's amazing for weddings, Vegas, a night out, whenever you need your hair to stay. So, we missed the whole thing, and I'm gonna do a heavier spray because I want these vintage waves to kind of mold and do what I want. So, sprayed with the hairspray, um, curled it, obviously, and it's cooled now to the touch. So now I'm just gonna start brushing it out. I'm gonna use my wet brush and start kind of shaping the curls into doing what I want. So, let's brush from the underneath because I kind of want it to go under. And don't be afraid to mold it with your hands and the hairspray to get it to stay and to do what you want it to do. Now, since I was going for more of that glam vintage look, I curled this piece going towards my face because see how it kind of does that right there? All right. Okay, so now this is a great trick for 
when you're finishing getting ready, final touches on makeup, and you really want that S pattern shape right here. You're gonna take a paper towel. I'm going to rip it into four pieces just to be safe. This, along with a clip, I'm using a little duckbill clip. Um, you just kind of want something with a, a clamp, so it's gonna help you get that look. But the paper towel keeps it from creasing. So, and you're gonna shape the S pattern around your face. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna clip that right there. And then this one, you want to go this way. So let me brush this a little more. Get my paper towel ready. Mold that with my hands, want it to go like this, and I'm gonna put this clip this way. If you need to kind of continue doing that, you can. Mist with hairspray. And that is gonna help set your look. So um, usually I'll do this, do my lipstick, mascara, finish getting ready, and then um, you take it out when you're done. And remember too, if the curls are too tight, keep brushing. You can bring out a boar bristle, a boar bristle brush or a comb. See, it's already staying for me. Um, here's this. And so you can kind of start shaping it like that. And this is also a great look to add barrettes or anything like that to. Um, I have some cute little ones here. I have like this little velvet bow I got in the Zara Kids department. If you wanna do that. But there you go. That is how you get those awesome waves for a glam look.